Toff for the Buck Cardinal Club, and we're here with 2015 Hall of Fame inductee Kyle Peterson, class of 97, baseball. Kyle, uh, welcome and congratulations. Uh, one of the best pitchers in Stanford history. Uh, you were the freshman of the year uh, when you first got here. I think you're now tied with Jack McDowell uh, for, for most wins. Uh, you, you pretty much did it all, and I, I guess maybe the icing on the cake probably for you was being from Omaha, you got to go to yeah. two College World Series. Yeah, it was. I mean, you know, the reason I actually got interested in Stanford was I was in the stadium when Paul Carey hit a home run off Ben McDonald in 87 or 88, what year it was, and I've still got a program that Coach Mark was signed and some of those guys signed from when I was a kid. And you grow up in Omaha and, and you see the College World Series, that's kind of your World Series, just because that's what you see every year. And, and I didn't know where Stanford was at the time. Um, but for some reason, that's where I wanted to go. And as I got older, I figured out where it was and the history behind it. And so to be able to go back and play in, in something that you had seen for a long time and do it twice was pretty cool. Two-time All-American, uh, Pac-12 Player of the Year. Um, maybe just talk about some of the guys you played with, uh, some of those teams. Uh, do you still keep in touch with a lot of the guys? Yeah, I know I do, and that's, that's one of the best things. I mean, you know, I had a chance to play with A.J. Hinch for two years, and obviously A.J.'s been on a pretty good run. Um, and A.J. had a lot of fans across the country just to to see if the Astros could get through, but still the job that he's done and what he's done after he got out of here. But it's the cool thing is, is I mean, you know, John Schaefer was my catcher for a year and a half as well. A.J. got hurt one year. He was a roommate for a few years. Brody Van Wagen and Brendan Sullivan, Mike Robbins, um, and there are, there are many, many others that have become very, very good friends. The neat thing is, is guys have... Um, They've done well in sports and out of sports, and I think that's one of the best things about this place is some guys will go on to do great things in the game. Um, other guys will go on and, and do great things either associated with the game or outside of the game, and those guys have all done that and have, have become very good friends. My dad told me when I was little, he said, your best friends you're going to form when you're in college, and when I was in high school, I didn't think that was possible. Um, I still have some very good friends from high school, but my buddies here will, will last forever. And when you think back on your Stanford experience, um, what do you remember the most? Was it the baseball days, the teammates? Was it, uh, you know, off the field, just the friendships you made or a combination of both? Yeah, you remember both. I mean, there's certain games you remember or moments that you remember. The College World Series, obviously, is a big part of it. Um, we won, when we won the regional in Wichita, we were freshmen because we weren't, well, I was a freshman, we weren't supposed to win. Um, that one will always stick out because it was the first time going back to Omaha. But there's plenty of other things that are away from the field that, um, you know, in a lot of ways form the relationships. I mean, it's it's great to win ball games, and and that's, you know, part of why you're here. But but the stuff off the field and and some things that you can't necessarily say on camera um, <laughs> are the things that you never forget. And it's it's this is as complete a college life as I think anybody could have because of what you're surrounded by in the athletics and the academics and and just the setting. Um, we experienced all of it, and that was pretty cool. Uh, 13th round pick, uh, or excuse me, uh, picked in number 13, the pick of the 97 uh, Major League Draft by Milwaukee. You played five years professionally. You gave that a try. Yeah. And then you kind of switched gears and wound up working for ESPN, which you're doing a great job with today. And I remember we talked before. You said it was kind of a funny way the way it happened. Uh, you, you, you just kind of gave it a shot uh, through a friend. Yeah. And the next thing you know, you're, you're doing it for a living. Yeah, I mean, my agent was Scott Boris when I played, and, and I got released in 03 and had a job to, to trade bonds in, uh, in Minneapolis. I was, I was, I was going to go get a job. And ESPN was doing Super Regionals for the first time. It was on pay-per-view, and nobody was watching, so they gave a few of us a, a chance anyway. Um, and that was 13 years ago. And honestly, I thought I'd, I always wanted to do it, but I'd never done it. And I guess that's true with a lot of things. You don't necessarily know how you get into it until you're in the middle of it. And... Um, and I got in the middle of it and, and thought I'd do it for a weekend and go back and get a job. And 13 years later, they're, they're still calling me. So that's good. But it's, it's been a fun. And I get, to, I get to stay around it. And the college game has continued to grow uh, with the series in Omaha. We live in Omaha now, so it's an easy commute. Um, it's a passion of mine. It was when I was growing up. And it's been fun to, to still be a part of it. Now, you got back on campus yesterday. Um, I imagine you got over and looked at old Sunken Diamond. Uh, it's getting a bit of a facelift, yeah. uh, a little different than when you hung out there. Yeah, it did. I mean, it looks like the ball's going to roll a little truer, too, <laughs> right now. But it, it's it's neat. I mean, it's good and it's bad in that, um, you know, college baseball has succumbed to a little bit of, of what football and basketball and some others. There's an arm, arms race component to it now from a facility standpoint. 
and there's some things that you just kind of have to do. Mm -hmm. um, Sunken Diamond's different just because it's Sunken Diamond. I mean, you walk in and you feel a little bit different, but still, there's some things that I think you need to do to keep up with others, and clearly that's that's what they're doing right now. So I, I look forward to seeing it when it's done. Um, you know, selfishly, I think it looked pretty good before, and I'm sure it'll look great when it gets done. But there's there's things you have to do to keep up, and I understand why they're doing it. I just look forward to seeing it when it's over. And I can't let you go without asking you about nine. Uh, yeah. You you played with for Coach Marcus, and he's he's still doing it. Um, any any memories of of Coach that? kind of stand out for you? You know, he's one of the most consistent people that I've ever been around. And, and I don't know that I was the easiest person to coach. And, and I, I, I recognize that now. I probably should have recognized it a little bit earlier in my life. And we had very different personalities. Um, and so we clashed sometimes. And, and I know that, that um, there's people in your life that you realize later on how much you really learned from. And Coach Mark was, is, is that guy. Um, I needed somebody like that at that point. I needed somebody that was consistent because at times I wasn't. Um, you don't stay at a place like this in a sport that's as competitive as it is for close to 40 years. It just it, it doesn't happen unless you're one of the best in the world at what you do. And, and, and he is that. I appreciate greatly that he gave me a chance to come to this place because it, it, it changed my life forever. Lastly, um, obviously you couldn't have done what you what you did without the support of the Buck Cardinal Club yeah. uh, in, in a lot of ways. Uh, can you just talk about uh, how they helped you and how it continues to help uh, all the student athletes? Well, I mean, it's, you know, we all knew when you walked into Ariaga, there was the, the, the picture and then it had the name underneath as to, to who was, was sponsoring the scholarship. And clearly this place is not going to get any cheaper <laughs> to sponsor scholarships. Um, I can just speak for myself and the guys that I was surrounded by and the stories that I've heard. I, I think that the Buck Cardinal Club gives guys, it, well, and gals, um, opportunities that there's no way they would have had if, if the Buck Cardinal Club didn't exist. And this place sets you up for life, I think, as well as any college possibly can. And take the sports out of the equation, which obviously is the vehicle that a lot of us got here, but the life experiences that ha happen after you get here, in large part because you were given the opportunity by the Buck Cardinal Club, um, I don't know how you put a price on that. I mean, it's 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 generosity for the people that have been here before you, and hopefully those that go after them continue to do it because I know it made a huge difference in my life. Well, very well deserving. Uh, congratulations. Welcome to the class of 2015, and uh, enjoy yourself tonight. I will. Thank you.